last week in a shocking revelation. Yeah. He alleged that his deputy, mm -hmm. your boss, yep. or boss of your party, yep. tried to impeach him. Mm -hmm. Was that uncalled for? Where did that come from? In your opinion, where did that come from? And I want to be very clear on this one. The president of Kenya was lying. And I say that without blinking, without fear. His boss, puppet Raila Odinga, came out, who was allegedly, based on the president's statement, together with His Excellency, the deputy president, planning to impeach him based on what he said. Raila Odinga has come out and said there was no such thing. We are legislators in parliament. You've heard from the National Assembly. We've heard from the senators, unless you know something that I don't. There was never such a thing. We would have had. I mean, where was it? Who, who brought a motion? What were the charges? When, when did this happen? Nobody seems to have any idea about that. And the reason nobody seems to have any idea about that, you've had His Excellency Deputy uh, President William Ruto has said there was no such thing. Raila Odinga has said there was no such thing. As legislators, we never even had. Um, I say again, the president was not telling the truth. The president was lying. And the president needs to apologize to Kenyans. However, Since I've told you uh, William Ruto said no such thing happened, Raila Odinga said no such thing happened, no legislator is heard of it or was aware of it, of such a thing, then you need to perhaps call Uhuru Kenyatta here and have him come answer that question so that then he can give us the details. Because as we stand right now, that is why I say it's propaganda. It's meant to divide the country. It's meant to incite a specific group, which is the Kikuyus. He has continuously done this from Sagana. He is now doing it from State House. It's a shame. It's embarrassing. And it should not be coming from the president of the Republic of Kenya. By the way,